gonna talk about how I clean my piercings. Uh, I have three fairly new piercings. I have my Cunch piercing right here. And then on this ear, I have my Tragus and Dace piercing, which all I got this year, so I'm gonna just talk about how I keep them clean. First off, I would do the sea salt soaks, which I would use sea salt, which this is the one I'm using. I purchased this from the, I think Dollar Tree, but um, also don't use table salt, only use sea salt whenever you do your soaks. So what I do, I just take a couple of these pieces, probably about a fourth teaspoon, and then I mix this in with um, about eight ounces of water. I just use tap water, but you know, if you don't want to use tap water, I know a lot of people go to the store and get bottled water. So if you want to do that, that's fine. Um, what I do is that I take hot water from the tap, mix this with um, the sea salt, and then uh, mix it in together, and then I just put it on my ear. And for me, I let it soak for, I would say about five to seven minutes on each piercing. Uh, when I first got my piercing for a month, I would do that about every day. But now since they're, you know, couple of months old. Well, I know this is a couple months old and this one I got done at the beginning of the year. I do about once or twice a week, usually at night before I go to bed. So I just let them soak to get all, you know, the gunk and everything out of the piercings. And then after that, I just let it dry. The second thing that I use, I use a wound wash, which I have two of them. This is one that I use. from Walmart and I also use the CVS brand of this also either one of them work just as long as you find a wound wash and this is the wound washer close to I know some piercing shops sell the H2O ocean which is basically salt water so this is what this is and you can find this in the area that kind of has like band-aids first aid you know things like that so this is a saving solution so Whenever you look for it, just make sure this is what you're looking for. Because the only thing that's in here is just the sodium chloride and the water. That's it. There's nothing else added. So I use this and also I will use this one also. And yes, you read it right. It is nasal spray. But if you look at it, it has sodium chloride and water. So if you get just the plain saline nasal spray, it's these two are basically the same thing only this is it comes out more as a mist so on days where I just spread this is easier to use than this but I'll explain how I use both of these so I would just use this whenever I want to really go in and clean out the crusties that's in my ear um, and I would do this with this probably maybe three or four times a week that's probably I'd rather just say maybe less than that I would say two times a week so basically I will take this and let me just show you these are the q-tips that I use I just keep it in this little container here but what I do I will just take the spray and then spray a little bit on the q-tip and once I put it on the q-tip I just go in my ear like this and clean out all the crusties you know and don't use the same q-tip that you usually use when I use different ones like each side so you know don't be using the same one for each one I do change it out but yeah I just spray some on there clean out the crusties and that's it <music>
shower is that I would just take water from the shower and move my hair and let the water just run in my piercing and that's what my piercing told me to do also just to let the water that you know that you used to take a shower and just run in your ears because that cleans it off also now um for me the tap water right here is pretty good so i don't have no problems but you know i know some areas all the water is not the same so if you're not comfortable doing that then don't but I know for me, just regular old water, you know, when I'm in the shower, I just let it run in my ear, both ears, for a couple of minutes, and then after that, I'm done. So, usually, I also, also, I would do that after I work out, because after I work out, I usually hop in the shower, so, after I work out, just to remove all the sweat and stuff from the piercing, I would run the water in my ear to clean out that out also. And another thing, this is, I don't use this to clean my ear. Only time I use this is if I had those little bumps or sometimes it'll appear on your piercing. And I only had to use this maybe twice on my date in my trays. I didn't have to use this on my country at all, but I used the tea tree oil, which looks like this. What I would do with this is that I would take this. In the cap, I'll put like a little bit of water in here with a little bit of the tea tree oil. And then I would take my Q-tip and just dip it in there and then put it on wherever I have a bump. And like I said, this is pretty good for bumps. I would not recommend to use this for cleaning at all. It's too drying. The time I heard that you should use this is when you just have those bumps. So this is not for cleaning. And whenever I did have the bumps pop on there, I would just use it maybe two or three times a week just on the area that I needed to. I would just use it until I see the bump going. And as I say, usually it's about a week or so. So this is the only time that I would use tea tree oil. Like I said, I would not use this to clean it, just my pan, but I wouldn't because it's too drying. And that's it guys, that's all I do to clean my ears. That's why I said all the steps I use, I don't do that all in one day and I don't do that every day. Like except for the I would say, except for the nasal wash and then doing it in the shower, that's the only two that I use every single day, just to make sure it's clean. But the other stuff I kind of alternated. Now I said the tea tree I only use whenever I have a bump. The other wound wash spray I only use probably just a couple times a week just to get the crusties off. That's it. Just, you know, keep it simple. You don't have to use too many steps to, um, clean your ears that's what I use I know um, a lot of videos are here people do different things to clean and you know if it works for them that's great but this is what's working for me um, I was told uh, by my person not to use certain stuff and I will list them in the description box below of things that you shouldn't use for your piercings especially fresh piercings that's a big no no I will list that in the description box below so you can read of things that you're not supposed to use on your piercings and you guys, that's it. Please leave your questions below if you have any questions about any of my piercings. Um, like I said, I plan to do one more. I don't know if I'm going to do it later on this year or early next year. But if I do, my plan is to take y'all along. Because usually when I get my piercings, I go by myself. But next time, because I think some people will say it in my other videos, like could I do a video when, they're, when I actually go to the shop. And if it's okay with the piercing, I'm going to ask them first before I even do it. But whenever I do, I'll try to make sure to bring somebody with me so they can actually record the process of me getting it done. So I will let you guys know more about that when that comes. But please don't forget to subscribe and thumb up this video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.